One of the major things that young athletes have to improve is the glutes. That's because they mostly come out from a long day of school, long day of work, and to train right immediately after that, and to produce high class athletic performance, it's kind of difficult when you consider that they be sitting like that all day in a bad posture. And what this causes is a weakness in the glutes. Why? That's because if you look at the hip flexor muscle, which is the soles muscle that originates from the lower lumbar spine and attached to the femur, when you're in this position, it's chronically shortened. And this chronic shortening is what causes tightness in this hip flexor muscle. And when this muscle is chronically tightened up, it causes weakness in your glutes. And what happens when your glutes are weak? When you do things that involve hip extension, like say propelling yourself in walking or propelling yourself in, in running or, or lifting, your glutes cannot do its job properly when it's weakened. So, because our body is a master of compensation, it's gonna find some other muscles to, to do its job. But consider this, your glutes are the strongest, biggest muscle in your body. It's so important. If it's not doing the job, it's gonna find something somewhere else to compensate for it. Let's say your hamstring, let's say your lower back. If you're losing most of your lower back, that means you have chronic lower back pain, right? Because your lower back is doing what it's not supposed to do. When it's like overworked, it gets tightened up. What happens when it tightens up? It causes you to slouch. What happens when you slouch? You have breathing problems. What happens when you have breathing problems? Right? You, you see what I'm saying? So, and what happens when you use too much of your hamstring? We see a lot of athletes, they pull their hamstrings a lot, especially in soccer, uh, in, in tennis sometimes, but these are things that you don't want to see. And it's not because your hamstrings are not strong enough. It's not because your lower back is not strong enough. It's because the glutes are not strong enough. And we're here to tackle that. Okay, so here's the exercise that I would recommend to activate the glutes. And I want this exercise to be done right after school when they get on the court and to do it for about two to three minutes before training, okay? So you wanna have the athlete stand about shoulder width apart and no around the back. You want them to roll the shoulders back, tall body right here, tall body, okay? And I want the hands to make a V shape and put them on their thighs, okay? Put them on the thighs. And what I want you to do right now is I want them to take a huge belly breath. When this in, you can feel this whole area expands and I want them to hold it and as they hold it, they hinge the hip down like that and once the V reach the knee, they will stop right here and notice the coaches, they have to notice the back, the back has to be straight. You can put a dowel right here to make sure it's, it's straight or you can put like a ruler or something like or even a racket just to make sure the back is straight. So when they're in this position, I want them to squeeze the big toe. Okay, I'm gonna show you right here. I want them, the toes to, instead of facing the sky, pointing the sky, I want them to squeeze down to the ground, squeeze the big toe, drive from the big toe from this position, and up. And you see, you will feel that your glutes are activated when you extend the hips. Okay, instead of doing this, when the toe is pointing the sky, it will feel differently, okay? I want them to drive down to the ground and then go up. Okay, when they go down, when they hinge the hips, it's about three seconds, okay? So they will have their breath in and hold the breath in. And then go down for three seconds and then drive up and then drive up. Squeezing the big toe because the big toe is connected to the posterior chain of the body. That means the glutes, the hamstrings. So you have to activate that. So I want them to do this for about like 10 to 20 reps, non-negotiable before training to activate the glutes. One thing about the breathing part is that the reason why I wanted to barely breathe before going down is because to increase the stability of the whole body. That means when I see them hinge down, I don't want the body to rock forward or backward or even go go any sort of way. You know, when you breathe in, you increase stability in your core. 
and that's the purpose of it. So you want to hold the breath, and as you go up, you breathe out, <sighs> breathe out. So it's going to be three seconds on the descend, and one second or two seconds on the ascend, <sighs> like that. So breathe in, hold it, and then breathe out, <sighs> like that. Okay.